Hello, welcome to a quick tutorial on creating a kind of shattering morphing effect in After Effects. This is an incredibly easy effect to do. It relies on using one of the features in After Effects that's supposed to help you make slow motion footage. But if we give it two quite different images, rather than a piece of film, it has trouble slowing it down and it tries to in between for you, creating this rather interesting effect. So let's get started. We need a couple of images to start with. There we go. I'll just drag those in. Uh, we've got a picture of a cat and a picture of a dog. Let's start off by bringing the picture of the cat out onto the timeline. And you'll see I've set this uh, composition up to be just five frames long. Reason for this is that this effect only works on video clips, but we're not gonna give it a video clip. We're gonna give it something we've just made with some quite different frames in it drag my dog out onto the timeline as well and I'm going to shorten the duration of that so we've only got a couple of frames of it. So now what we've got is two frames of the cat, two frames of the dog and a frame of the cat again. And we're going to tell After Effects to treat this as a piece of footage and slow it right down and work out in between frames. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to render this out because the effect we're going to use only works on video files. and rendering will make this into one. So let's go to add to render queue. There we are. And I'm just going to save this as a, as a lossless movie. Render that. Doesn't take very long. And I'm going to drag the resulting movie back into After Effects. There we go. So let's start another composition. And here we've got the little video we made from that pair of pictures. Not very interesting at the moment. Let's go into the composition. We'll change the settings and we'll make this, I don't know, let's make this eight seconds long. You can make it as long as short, or short as you like, depending on how long you want your particular morphing effect to last. So now we can zoom all the way out. And the next thing we need to do is we need to change some settings on our composition. We need to go to time and enable time remapping. And that'll let us stretch this clip out to eight seconds. And there's a couple of keyframes here. You need to move the second keyframe to the end of where we're going. Next thing we need to do again is right clicking on this and we need to turn on pixel motion in the frame blending menu. And what that does is it tells it to uh, After Effects to work out which pixels are similar to other pixels and move them to create our in-between frames. There we go. Final thing we need to do is we need to turn on for the composition frame blending and make sure it's turned on with a slanty line like that in the individual layer. And now, if we press zero on our number pad to preview, it'll do a little bit of thinking about it and it'll create our shattering blend effect. 